obviously this is the first topic we've covered in these lunchtime lessons which isn't reinforcing your IGCSE maths okay this is not in the IGCSE so if you decide to bail out of further maths you just don't need to worry about this at all okay so um it breaks down into two bits um okay it breaks down into really the mechanics of actually multiplying these matrices out and that's what we're going to do today and that's one worksheet on Corbett maths but there's like four videos underpinning it there's like four bits to it so if you want to go and um watch mr corbett's videos on this you'll see that it's like m1 m2 m3 and m4 by my referencing it's the first four bits okay uh, this takes a bit of practice so i've set up quite a few extra questions on dr frost if you want to practice these skills you'll see that they they're already up and running so i did all the questions i could for that um, so let's just crack on i think um, so um, when can you actually multiply matrices okay and at further maths you're either going to have a, a two by two matrix and then two in a single column or you will have a two by two matrix those are the two scenarios where you can multiply them okay so you need the columns of the first vector to equal the number of rows of the second that matrix okay so the columns of the first matrix to equal the number of rows of the second matrix. then there you can multiply them so if you ever get a part c of a question that has it the other way around where you've got like the um if you look at the two at the top you've got the the, the two in a column first and then the two by two second you just go and say it's because the columns of a doesn't match the rows of b then you can't do it so just be on the um, all the questions will be in that format either like the, the two at the top or the two below okay so this is the mechanics of it okay so i'm starting off i'll just wait for it to click around to the next slide so it all looks a bit complicated but i promise you with a bit of practice um, it's not too bad. Now, this is the slide that I will return to and leave on the board when you are practicing the skills. This summarizes everything on one sheet. So the two, the, 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 the blue half at the top is when we're multiplying a two by two vector by a one by two. And then the purple at the bottom is obviously a two by two multiplied by a two by two. So I've gone and labelled the first blue uh, matrix. So I keep saying vectors, I mean matrices. I've labelled the first matrix A, B, C, D, as you can see, and then that singular column matrix E and F. Now, your final answer is just going to be another singular row matrix, OK? And to get the number at the top, you're going to do A times E and then B times F. So you're working your way along the top row of the left hand matrix and working your way down the column of the right hand matrix. So you simply do A times E and you add that to B times F to get the top number. All right, there's just a singular number, as you can see in the example below. And then to get the bottom number, you do C times E and D times F. So again, you're working your way along the bottom row of the left hand matrix and you're working your way down the column of the right hand matrix. Probably easier to see it in numbers. OK, so I've done the example below and I'm going to try and highlight this as we go. So to get the number at the top, we've done one times five. Let's see how big a, uh, a lag there is. This might not be practical. Let's have a look. So I've done one times five to get the five. OK, then I've gone, then I've moved over and done two times six to get the 12. Let me see if, how long it is to come through in green. 
Then I've done the 2 times the 6 to get the 12. There we go. Then I've added the 5 and the 12 to get the 17. Okay. And then I move over and I've done uh, 3 times 5 to get the 15. Oh, that was quicker. And 4 times the 6 to get the 24 and added them together to get the 39. So it may look a bit like double dutch at the moment, but a bit of practice, this isn't too bad. So just work your way along the rows of the left-hand vector and multiply by the columns of the right-hand vector. So moving on to the purple example at the bottom half of the slide, okay? So it's now a two by two matrix times a two by two matrix. So I've done, so I'm get, I think I might go straight to the numbers, okay? So I've started off at the bottom by doing, so I'm working all the way along the top row. So I've done one times five to get the five. How quickly has that come through? So I've done the one times the five to get the five. Pretty slow. Okay, and then I've done the two times the seven to get the 14. So I've worked my way along the top row, multiplied it by the first column. So I've done one times five and added it to the two times seven. That's five, add the 14 to give me my first number of 19. Okay, so then let's go and have a look at the next one. So to work out the top right hand number, okay i'm doing i'm working away along my row again i'm doing one times six to get six and two times eight to get 16 and six to 16 is 22. it's a shame about the lag here so i've done one times six to get the six two times eight to get the 16 and then i've added the six to the 16 to get the 22. All right, so you're working your way along the rows of matrix one and down the columns of matrix two. So let's go and do the bottom left hand final number. So working your way along my row of my first matrix and down the first column of my second matrix, I'm doing three times five to get 15 and four times seven to get 28 and then I've added those together to give me my 43. Okay, bit of a lag there, isn't there? But yeah, not too bad. All right, and then to get my final number, I'm gonna work away along the bottom row of matrix one and the second column of matrix two. So let's try and do this in light blue. So I've done three, or isn't the brown rather, three times six to get 18, and four times eight to get 32, added them together to get 50. So work your way along the rows of matrix one, multiply by the appropriate column of matrix two, okay? So let's have a look at the, um, various types of questions. Now, this couldn't be easier, all right? You get anything like this, you just literally multiply, oh, you can't see it yet, there you go. You're just literally multiplying a vector by a number. So, I mean, you just guess this is what it would be, all right? That vector A is that four minus one, not seven, and you want three lots of it, you just multiply every single number by three. So I won't insult your uh, intelligence with those. So that's questions one and two um, of the um, questions. Now, um, the identity matrix, we will address this again next week, okay? But this, just please learn it, that the starting point, the vector that gets you back to where you started is the one, not, not one. So please, just for now, if it ever asks you about the matrix capital I, the identity matrix, it is just one zero zero one. I don't want to say anything more about that this week. So here we go practicing on question four. You'll be practicing 
a two by one multiplication. So again, what I'm planning on doing is just um, giving you some time in a minute to do that. So question four is just doing a two column by a one column times thing. Uh, as is question five. Uh, quest, as is question six, you'll notice they've asked for F times E, not E times F. By the way, I think the answer in Corbett Mass Solutions is wrong there. Right, um, then question seven, you can see that we're multiplying a two by two by a two by two. And eight and nine and ten, because M squared is just multiplying it by itself. And uh, again, very simple question at 11, right? You just, um, you multiply the left-hand side, top and bottom by three, and then just setting up uh, an equation, aren't we? So we've done three times A, and that must equal the 15. So A must be five. It's just a bit of a lag, but you can see that. Three times A is 15, so A must be five. Then working our way along the bottom row, we've done three times four minus two A equals B. So that's 12 minus six A equals B. We've worked out what A is already, so we can work out what B is. And 12 is similar. Um, as 13, it's just a time. Yeah, so yeah, notice part B. Give a reason why it is not possible to work out B squared. Well, that's what I was saying earlier on. You need to have the number of rows from B equaling the number of columns, uh, needing to equal uh, the number of columns of the other one. Okay. Um, part C straightforward. Uh, just yes, again, it's just finding that's just a two by one and finding out the numbers that are missing. Uh, yes, and question 15, note that I uh, haven't clicked through that when we get to 15, just trying to pick out the key points. When we get to 15, notice how you've got to multiply stuff together and it equals I. Remember, I is that 1001. Zero, zero, one. So just go and set it up like that. Do your cross multiplying and what have you, and work out the numbers that are missing. And I th it does get a bit trickier, but um, but it's not impossible. So anyway, what I want us to do now, okay, because I've been talking for nearly 15 minutes, I'm going to stop the video. I want you to all start off by doing question um, that by doing question four, please. I'm going to come off the slide. Can you all do question four now, please? I'm just about to stop recording. Miss, miss. Just a sec, just somebody stop recording. But, uh...